These are eye ants. The eye ants have an onboard iPod on the top hence the eye. These eye ant robots are completely autonomous, so they are not guided by any pre-programmed control structure. We simply plug them in, turn them on, and let them go. So these robots are an example of the kind of real-world applications uh, that students with programming experience and programming skills um, can develop. We're taking new ideas, we're putting them into, um, into robots and trying to get those robots to adapt to real-world conditions. So we spent several years observing ant colonies in the wild. Uh, we took those behaviors that we observed and we programmed them into the robots in order to generate the behaviors that you see today. These eye ant robots start at a central nest, which is represented by this lantern here. They disperse from the nests in random directions and they are looking for food, digital food, which is these QR codes here. When they find one of the QR codes, aka digital food for the robot, they will search the surrounding area, trying to identify how many additional QR codes are in that space. In general, once they read the QR code, they will return back to this nest, this lantern here, and that is the point at which they will communicate with the other robots in order to recruit them back to that food source. This project really represents an interdisciplinary collaboration between students in different departments. So we have students from biology whose focus is on understanding the behavior of ants, we have students in computer science whose focus is understanding how to turn behavior into an algorithm, into code that can be programmed. And then we have students who are engineering, physically building the robots. So this really exemplifies, I think, the, the direction that we're going in higher education, where students learn just not just one discipline, but how to take the skills they learn in that discipline, interact with students who have other skills to develop a project or a product that can be used in the real world in, in, in multiple different ways.